What is the quality that makes something so impressive? In the case of video games, the mechanics, an aesthetical element, or something like that. Even when we consider that some games are quite underrated, obscure, you know, even cold games or its content is forbidden. Or the very actions in the game are um, questionable. Happy Holidays, everyone! Welcome to the epilogue of the underrated game saga. I am Jake. I'll be talking about some last games that don't spark too much interest to the general market. The first part is in the top right corner, so you may watch it. So, let us start with the video. What happens if we merge ideas like the mood of a nightclub with electronic music and synesthesia? The name's res. A shoot 'em up rhythm game, originally for the Dreamcast. So let's jump into its uniqueness. Starting with the setting, we'll be playing as a virus, trying to corrupt a heavy guarded system. With such simple premise, this game has a very interesting idea behind what we are witnessing. Three years took to complete a game that wants you to experience the sound in a very different fashion. The aforementioned synesthesia, a peculiar thing that is to think a color or to have a very specific sensation thanks to the sound. Therefore, it is very easy to spot the sound design and music as something quite amazing. And not only that, the way you complete the stages is important to the game, since it all changes if you complete the objective in a different way, which also affects the very music. So, what do you think? Can you feel all the emotions Res can offer? Gravity Rush. Thanks to the director of Silent Hill, working on an experimental idea that in the beginning was for the PS3, until it was moved to the PlayStation Vita. Cat. A girl wakes up without a single memory, not knowing what is about to happen. The game sets ourselves into an adventure, where the mystery remains. Who is Cat? And what is happening around? At first glance, the most catchy element of a game is without a doubt the visuals, the designs of the city, the cinematics, using that comic manga style, and even how the MC, having a pretty cool design, shifts while using the gravitational powers. Now, talking about the controls, you can use the power to either alter the gravity to launch Cat, or return it to the previous state. In case you feel lost, a key mechanic, but also has to be used carefully, since there's a limited chance of use. So better be careful, or recharge the ability. And think how to handle the boss or the enemy at the time. It seems strange, but in the best way possible. Thanks to the potential of the PS Vita, it was developed that way, since it reinforces that notion of partially controlling gravity, but not at the height of being the master of reality. So yes, it could feel a little clunky, but that doesn't derail the gameplay from using the power of the handheld. Or in the case of the PS4 version, which still works. The other very strong point this game has is the ambient, that is very well created thanks to that harmonious balance between those beautiful aesthetics alongside the overall sound design and the music, which Gravity Rush displays, courtesy of Kohei Tanaka. In a more technical note, the loadings are barely present, if not really there at all. Quite impressive. Although the original Vita version has some favorite issues. 
after a remaster and a sequel, the Gravity Rush franchise seems done. Japan Studios was disbanded, and the only thing we might have in the future is a movie. Truly tragic, but in the end, we still have a gem that although it wasn't perfect, worked and used the very potential of the Vita. SMT Devil Summoner 2 I know, I know, like, half of the Megaton games are truly an obscure and rare product to many fans, but in this case we have a sequel that was actually released in the West. Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner 2 Raido Kuzunoha vs. King Abaddon An action RPG that truly feels different from most of the games of Atlas, but we need some further context. Early 1930s, Tokyo, the Narumi Detective Agency, is having a busy time after an incident with a super-powered army. Now the young devil summoner, Raido Kuzunoha, has to track down a man called Dan. But the case will not go easy, and it doesn't change the fact that there's more than meets the eye. And now, talking about the other meaty facts, because of the setting and the control scheme, the turn-based tradition is not here. Or at most, you can select any creature and set the command while using the interface just to start with the fight while you concentrate your strikes at a specific enemy, or keep some distance to restore some health, or depending on the strategy. Just like someone on the chat summarized the DS experience as Es como un persona combinado con Devil May Cry y la invocación de Digimon. <laughs> the interaction between the player and the party is not limited to just that. Depending on the task, you can use a demon to have the appearance of someone else, read the mind of an NPC, among others. After all, we're playing as a detective with the responsibility of protecting the capital from dark forces. And last, but not least, the music fits perfectly the feeling of walking in the capital city or fighting hordes of fiends. Thank you, Shoji Meguro. And of course, our good friend, a hell of an artist, Kasuma Kaneko, shows that very refined art just as well as the artistical direction using the cell shading and models very effectively. And thus, Devil Summoner, featuring Araida Kusunoha, so it's Twilight, but with an excellent last game. Well, we've reached the end of this interesting section. Personally, I really like to talk about these old games, and yes, I know, there's a number of them that I haven't mentioned. If you have a list, let me know in the comments, and to be frank, I really enjoy to know that they still hold a fanbase, and that, maybe after all, they aren't this truly obscure phenomenon. For example, the case of a PS3 game, yes, I'm talking about Journey, which seems to be having a spiritual sequel, quite a wonderful experience, in case you haven't heard about it. Thanks for watching, this was Jcode. I still have some last words to say, but we'll see you next time. Sapere Aude.